So we're having breakfast for dinner tonight and tonight we're making breakfast burritos. We got inspiration from Rise and Shine Cafe, which is one of our favorite spots to go for breakfast. And when we go there, I usually get a breakfast burrito, the vegetarian one. They also sell one that has meat. So we're gonna be making both today. Because we can't do without meat. Because some of us can't do without meat. So if you're new here, I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family. This is my husband, Reed and hope you enjoy being in the kitchen with us. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Let's jump right in. The first thing that we'll be making today is pico de gallo, which is a salsa that's gonna supplement our breakfast burrito. And so what we're using for the ingredients are tomatoes, we have onion, white onion, garlic, and we also have cilantro. Then we have some lime, and some salt so it's a very simple recipe um, but you can also add if you wanted to you can add like peaches sometimes or people add mango so they make it like a sweeter salsa um, but today we're just sticking with the savory tastes so what i have here are four red tomatoes and when we got to my parents house i found these yellow yellow tomatoes and so i grabbed about three of them because she has a whole stash and I put them in here just so it adds some nice color as well. So we're gonna pour that into the mixing bowl. And Reed actually was the one that cut these. And he also made sure to take out a lot of the seeds because if you leave the seeds in, then it will add a lot more moisture. Okay, then we're gonna add in some onion and I'm gonna add about half of this. I'm gonna save the other half for our breakfast burritos um, you know, on the side. So we're just gonna put about half. So this is one round onion, this is a big onion. Um, so we're not going to need to use all of it, I don't think. Okay. So we have some nice onion in there. And really like with salsa, I feel like it's to taste, you know, it's, it's what you prefer. And now we're going to add the garlic. This is about four cloves of garlic. I'm going to add in. Maybe this is more, maybe this is, this is about five cloves of garlic. So we're going to add it all in. And I can smell it already. It smells nice with all the flavors meshing together. And personal, personally, I like to make homemade salsa. I don't do it very often, so I'm sure Rita's shocked to hear me say that. But I have made homemade salsa in the past and it just tastes so much more fresh, you know, when you make it at home. Okay, and then we're gonna add cilantro and I'm gonna add about half of this in. I will be honest, I'm not like the biggest cilantro lover um, but I like a little bit here and there now it's gotten better so I'll add about half and if we feel like we need more then we can add more read the cilantro lover feels like we need more cilantro so add more and cilantro has such an interesting t uh, smell to it so when I was younger I didn't I really couldn't stand the smell of cilantro but as I've gotten older and my tastes have matured, you know, it's grown on me a little bit more. You may as well put the rest of it in All there. right, all right, all right. We said to put the rest in. All right. Why leave the little bits of cilantro? Well, maybe it's some gonna people- It's going to miss its friends. <laughs> so- That looks this good. This looks good, actually. Now we just got to add the flavor. And so flavor in pico de gallo is super simple. It's just usually salt and lime juice so i have my limes here i cut one already um, but my mom has this really cute like japanese she has this really cute japanese um what's this called juicer so i'm gonna use this and we're going to juice excuse the vacuuming that's our neighbors so i learned from my Friend, my friend that's a chef that when you um, have lemon or lime or like a citrus fruit you want to roll it uh, before you cut it because it just I guess it like makes it more juicy or gets all the juices out so we'll do that first and when you do this actually too you can smell the aroma of like the lime coming out so hopefully this is a juicy one. Oh, it's a juicy one So now that we have our lime juice, we'll put it in a little bit at a time. So this is about a fourth of a cup that we're adding in. 
And we're gonna add in some salt. We'll start with one teaspoon. I think it's good. Yeah? I think it's good. Wow, on the first try. She did a good job. Yeah. Wow, we Because the done. cilantro and the lemon juice really uh, impact the flavors, so you don't really actually need to add more salt. Okay, so now we are making the breakfast burritos and we're making different types. So at Rise and Shine, uh, the place that I, li I like to get the vegetarian breakfast burrito, they put spinach or sauteed vegetables. So they put sauteed spinach, mushrooms, I believe onions, and then they also have potato in there and some black beans. So we're gonna add, be adding all those things and they also put eggs. So we'll do the egg last. And then in the meat version, they have chorizo, potatoes, and onions, I believe. And I think they add bacon, but we're not gonna, we decided that we're not gonna add bacon to ours, but. We're gonna have bacon on the side. Yeah. But I wanted to kind of talk about the pork chorizo that we did buy. So we got this from Whole Foods and. Um, and actually you have the option. So we bought them in the sausage casing. We could have actually purchased it with just the chorizo meat, which in hindsight we probably should have because now we're gonna have to cut through the sausage casing to get to the chorizo meat. Oh, it's kind of drippy. So. Yes, ooh, yes, it looks like that. So we bought these. So next time just buy the chorizo meat. Yeah, that was my bad. While Carrie's gonna cut out the sausage, we're gonna start cooking up the rest of the stuff. So you wanna just go ahead and take a uh, medium sized pan, coat it with some olive oil, and let this thing heat up. Also, keep watching because we are also going to be trying breakfast burritos from Rise and Shine Cafe. And I think we forgot to mention that Rise and, Rise and Shine is in Mililani. So it's a breakfast, it's probably like the only. Hawaii. Mililani, Hawaii, yes. But it's probably the only breakfast spot um, in Mililani, actually. Like, I mean, that's that's dedicated to like a breakfast breakfast. There are lunch. other places you can get breakfast, but that's yeah. just a breakfast spot. And lunch spot, but I think they're known mainly for their breakfast. That's why people go there. So we're gonna be trying them. And so stay tuned so you can see that part of the video. Okay, so we've added the onion. I'm gonna add about half the potato just because we want to save some for the vegetarians in the in the house. And they're brown because we cut them earlier and we didn't soak them in water. So they're fine, they're just, you know. So we got we bought about two pounds of chorizo. So that equated into about seven of these sausages. You know, we just kind of went simple for this dish. So we just got from Whole Foods the organic flour tortillas burrito size. We're gonna be using these for the adults. And then I also got the flour tortillas tortilla size for the, or yeah, these are like smaller ones um, for the kids. So while Reed is cooking the chorizo and the vegetables, um, I'm going to be cooking the egg nectar. So we are going to multitask it. Ooh, you can smell that spice, that chorizo it spice. Good, yeah? I was gonna add salt and pepper, but I don't think we really need it. Yeah, we can taste it first and see. Mm. So let us know in the comments if you and your family, um, you know, you like to have sometimes breakfast for dinner. Cause that's what we're doing tonight. So my sisters are bringing some other um, dishes that will complement the breakfast burrito. And so it's gonna be a nice breakfast feast for dinner. 
And if you live in Hawaii too, let us know where your favorite breakfast spot uh, places to go because I feel like that's such a pop popular thing, you know, going to different uh, like breakfast, brunch places and all of that. And don't forget to check out our Kailua video where we actually explore a breakfast place in Kailua. Yes. Okay, so mom is here now to join our video. She popped in. So popped in. why don't you share with us what did you buy for our uh, breakfast for dinner? Okay, dinner. well my contribution is um, raised without antibiotics, uncured bacon. This is 24 ounces and I do use Instacart. So this was um, $18 on Instacart. And of course this is Idealis, all natural chicken and apple. Um, no artificial ingredients and no antibiotics and Oscar Mayer uncured smokies. So can you explain to those that don't know what it means by uncured? What does that mean? Mm, it means it has no nitrites or nitrates in them. So we try to only have meats or cured or uncured meats in this home. Right. Except for spam, which we have once in a while. Which you've seen on the channel that we have <laughs> sometimes. And um, maybe once in a while Vienna sausage because grandma brings it home now. So <laughs> we get that. We have to eat that. Mmm. It has a really nice spice and flavor. You want to try one? No. I had a corn. Okay. <laughs> we have corn for dinner tonight too. And we're using this because we don't want to capture all the chorizo oil. We still want to be somewhat healthy considering we have uncured meats. Okay, so now we're going to do the vegetarian uh, filling for the breakfast burrito. So we're just, uh, we cleaned off the pan and we're reheating it. Uh, Mom is cooking some uncured meats next to me as a side dish. But um, we're going to get this thing hot and then we're going to start mixing the vegetables. Okay, so for our vegetarian burrito, um, this again, this one is my favorite. So Reed is adding the rest of the potatoes and he's going to be adding the mushrooms, the spinach, and the black beans will go last. So we'll start these first. Yeah, maybe we should add some salt to it though. Yeah, yeah we can add some salt. Salt and pepper is what we'll add. Salt and pepper. Push it. Ah, push it. Ooh, baby, baby. Baby, baby. I don't know if people appreciate my humor. Let me know if you appreciate my humor. Some people have mentioned here. Oh, oh. Keep the food in the pan. Yeah, I just realized I used all the onions for the meat. Wow. But that's okay because you know what? Otherwise the meat wouldn't have that many vegetables. So I think it works out. Oh, hi. What did you guys bring for dinner tonight? We brought French toast. Oh. Ooh, so it's a sweet and a savory. Hi. Hi. Okay, now that the potatoes and the mushrooms are getting a little cooked, we're going to add in the beans. The last thing we're going to put in is, is the spinach because it cooks fast. So the beans will serve as our protein in place of the chorizo sausage that we just made for the non-vegetarians in the household. The last thing we're going to add in is the spinach. And we're just going to throw all of this in because it's going to wilt down as we cook. Okay, so the vegetarian looks just about done. We've got the spinach boiled down or cooked down. We got the beans heated up, we got the mushrooms and the potato. Mm. Looks really good, smells good too. In fact, we could probably add a little bit of spice to this. So let's add a little bit more pepper. Yeah, this one needs more flavor because in the last one, the chorizo had a lot of flavor, but this one is just the raw vegetable. Oh, mom's sausages I think are also done. And you can hear that everybody's here, so they're hungry. <laughs> You can hear the noise. All right, so now we are going to be putting together our breakfast burrito. So we have the chorizo pork, we have our eggs, and we have our cheese, and we have our pico de gallo that we made earlier. So Reed's going to show us how he puts it together. And remember, in the pork, we also have potato, we have mushroom, um, onion, onion. 
So it's a mixture of a lot of good tasting, delicious ingredients. And the chorizo itself just adds so much flavor. So we didn't, we really didn't have to add like extra spices. Mari, are you excited? It smells delicious. It smells delicious. Delicious. I'm gonna try it. Okay. Actually, I might really finish it, but I might you can have, Yeah. And the good thing about this too, like our family, we have all different, you know, there's kids that don't like certain foods and all of that. So hopefully this dish, um, you know, it's very versatile. People can put whatever they want in their food. Wow, that's a bite. You hungry? How is it? Yes. <laughs> you like it? Spicy? I think all the mixture, even the eggs, that, that. Oh. Is it good? Spicy, but it's a little spicy. Mm -hmm. Try. Mm. Would you like it? Would you, would you mm. like to have the vegetarian version or you like the meat version? What version is this? Mm. It's a meat version. A meat it's version. a little messy, but it's good. Mm. Yeah. Bite? I, would, I would rather have the meat version. Oh my god. This is really good. For dinner, we have our burritos. Mm. We have some uncured meats here. We have Kathy made French soup. Kathy made French toast. No, no, no. Jenny, Jenny, what did you? How did you contribute to tonight? Uh, I brought fruit. And tell everybody what you did. I cut the watermelon and the pineapple. <laughs> for the what though? For the first time. This is my plate. Wow. Super so party there. And Maya is making crepes. So we have a full it's a spread. It's like a mm -hmm. buffet here. This is a. Is this a. Hey, Mari. Hi everyone, so we got food this morning from Rise and Shine Cafe Woohoo! and um, we have Maya with us this morning. Hi. She's taking her shopping after this. So yeah, Reed, do you want to share what you got? Old, old Faithful corned beef, eggs and hash. <laughs> corned beef, hash and eggs. With scrambled eggs. Yeah, scrambled eggs. And I got the veggie burrito the thing that we made last night and that one looks try. a lot cheesier it does this one looks cheesier than it normally does but it has everything that um that we we put into our burrito last night so it has eggs spinach beans cheese mushrooms and it comes with like a nice salsa that tastes really good as well and Maya you want to show what you got I got a local mocha <coughs> excuse me very hungry this morning food is good Carrie's uh, breakfast burrito looks almost as good as the one we made last night. <laughs> but we like this place because it's very convenient. The food is very consistent and good. I mean, you can't really mess up on breakfast food. Mm -hmm. And this morning we get to treat Maya to breakfast. So we thought we should go here and try the burrito and also get some really good food for ourselves. Yeah, this is my go-to burrito whenever we go to Rise and Shine. I mean, they have a lot of other good things there too. So if you're in the area, this is in Mililani. Hawaii. Um, it's just a great breakfast spot. It's small, it's cozy. Um, they're doing dine-in again so you can dine in or you can take out. Uh, we've been recently taking out because of um, you know because of how everything has been going. Hopefully that gave you some ideas on how to make fast and easy breakfast. And I also did hear too that you can freeze like breakfast burritos and just have like make a lot of them at once especially if you have a family or a really busy life and you want to make this and um, just have it for you know when you really need breakfast this is a great thing to freeze and then reheat so in the one that we made our potatoes were really small 
these potatoes are massive so I'm not sure which one I like better I think the small is good because it's easier to eat but when they're bigger they're more apparent in the in the whole burrito which is also nice oh yeah they are big yeah they are big but either way you know it's a, probably what you prefer but potatoes are potatoes and last night Maya you want to talk about the crepes you made oh yeah the crepes it, it turned out very good like when I flipped them they were like cooked perfectly and then we put on like cool whip um, strawberries and Nutella mm -hmm. and banana how many times have you made crepes on your own um maybe about like six eight times wow I started good. making them in the very beginning of quarantine I think you made them once at our house too yeah mm -hmm. So I looked up on um, all recipes and they have um, a crepe recipe, simple crepe recipe. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it just has eggs, flour, milk, water, salt, and butter. It's That's very simple. Basically pour it in the pan after, after you mix it all up and then you tilt it over and you have to let it sit for less than a minute and then it's good to go to flip it. Mm. Yeah, it was very good. I had one for, my, for dessert. Okay, so this ends this video. Hope you enjoyed watching us make breakfast burritos and enjoyed eating it too. Check out Rise and Shine Cafe if you're in the area in Milani. Uh, and till then, we'll see you guys in the next one. See Bye. you guys. Bye. Like and subscribe. What should you do with this video? Uh, share it with people you think would like to have this kind of food. <laughs> Bye.